All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises due to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, or Kokodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and salutation to the elect. This is the Brother Parathum, back at it with another lesson. And today I'm just going to go into a quick lesson on, you know, turning your back, you know, on the plow, you know. When you come into this truth, hey man, it, it, it ain't no turning back. All right, you know the apostles they always, uh, you know, remind us of these things. And, you know, this is this is this is blood in blood out. You know, this is a lifelong commitment. And if you turn, if you if you turn your back, that means you you put in the Lord. You know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to our open shame. All right, and this is why it's very important. All right, that we have the mentality. Regardless of what's going on, hey man, to finish uh, the task at hand, man, you know, to endure all all the way unto the uh, unto the end. All right, there's no turning back, man. This is this is the uh, the ultimate uh, commitment, man. We show our loyalty and commitment to our Lord Yahweh Shai by doing this works. You know what I mean, in season, in season, and out of season. All right. So first scripture we're gonna get just is gonna start off. This is Luke chapter seven, teen, uh, verse thirty-two, and it says, "Remembers Lot's wife." And you know, we know about the story of Lot. All right, we not also oh, Lot. What just happened right here? All right, going right back here, yeah, Luke chapter seventeen. All right, verse 32, and it says, remember uh, Lot's wife, you know, and I'm not going to read the whole story of Lot, but we know the story of Lot, okay, when they were fleeing, all right, uh, from uh, 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 Sodom and Gomorrah, I believe, and you know, and, and, and Lot, his wife looked back, back and she was turned, you know, into a pillar of salt. All right, and we don't want to have, you know, these kind of consequences happen to us, man. All right, ain't no turning back, man. There's nothing in all reality, ain't nothing for us to look uh, uh, back for in this world, man. All right, you know the scriptures say what? Arise ye and depart. This, this is not your your rest. All right, it says here we have no continuing city. Okay. We have no continuing city, so in all reality, there ain't no reason, all right, to be looking back. Okay, going back uh, uh, to the ways of this world, all right, going back to your old friends and all these things. Guess what? When you turn your back and you look back, guess what? These things are going to lead to death, man. Okay, you could read about this story a lot. If you want in uh, Genesis uh, chapter 19, it gives you the whole rundown. All right. So we always have to remember these things. All right. You know, the scriptures say what, man? Uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, you know, remember uh, 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 the men of old. Okay. So it says, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it and that's the thing man all right in all reality you're not you, you, if you're trying to save your life you're trying to go back in the, in this world you're trying to quote unquote make something to yourself all right and a lot of times these things need to de deal with like riches and you know uh, money and, and, and quote unquote wanting to be free and having these freedoms it's you know you going back to all these things these things will lead to your death man all right because this place is going to be destroyed and the ways of this world does not provide any hedge of protection for you okay there ain't no protection when the day of uh, destruction uh, 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 comes about man all right the only protection the only hedge you're gonna get it's from our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, and in order to 
you know, get that protection, hey man, we have to please the Lord, man. Okay? We have to serve the Lord, and that's really the whole duty, the duty of man. Alright? The, the ways of this world, alright, is going to lead to your death. So even if you're weak, you might, you know, you know, brothers going through spiritual battles or whatever it is, man. You know? The scripture said what? Remember a uh, 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 Lot's wife. Alright? This is going to be a short another scripture. This is Luke chapter 9 verse 62. And it says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Uh, should I read this whole thing? Alright, you know, I, 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 I'm going to run through it real quick. This is Luke chapter 9, verse 57. And it says, And it came to pass, that as they went in the way, a certain man unsend, said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests. But the son of man had nowhere to lay his head and that's hey that's be that, that's a good that's beautiful right there because i just quoted arise ye and apart this is not your rest all right so if you fall in the lord man you ain't gonna get no rest man you're not gonna be you know comfortable all right and the, the servant is not greater than the master so if our lord went through it we gotta go through it all right and it says and he said unto another follow me but he said lord and but he said Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Let the dead bury the dead, but go down and preach the kingdom of, uh, 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 of the Most High. And that's what it is, man. Listen, when it comes to this truth, hey, man, this is supposed to be your first priority. All right? Certain things got to get dropped. All right? When you when, when, when you are uh, uh, dealing this truth, man. All right? Even, even the death... You know of a loved one and you know uh, and in reality uh, the majority of our people the majority of our family members and all these things they're dead anyway they're spiritually dead so you know when you come to this shoot hey man you're gonna have to leave some people behind hey lot left his wife behind he ain't turned back he ain't turned back okay all right and that's what it is, hey man. A lot of our family members, a lot of our brothers, you might have a wife right now. You're gonna have to leave her behind. You might have to leave the kids behind. Your mother, your father, alright? Because ultimately the scriptures say what? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Alright? It goes on to says, say, and another also said, Lord, I will follow thee. But let me first go bid them farewell, which are at my home. And that's another thing, man. There's too many buts, man. You can't, hey, yeah, man, in this truth, man. You gotta eliminate but. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, 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 but. Ain't no buts, man. Alright, there's no excuses. Alright, when it comes to serving, you know, our Lord. Alright? It says, and Yahweh Shadon just said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom so hey man if you're in this truth and you're doing this work you cross the lines you teaching on the highways and byways you putting videos up and all these things and you turn back and you go back into the world hey you're not fit to be part of the uh, uh, of that elect number man alright and that's the one thing I'll say about the apostles and the men of GMS. We yeah, ain't no days off, man. Ain't no days off. You might even if, even if the weather is so bad we can't go outside. Hey, man, brothers gotta meet up. Brothers gotta meet up and and, and, and do their camp videos anyway. All right. Just today, this morning, our brother put in the chat, "Yo, how's brothers' videos coming along?" All right. So we here to be, you know, we're workmen. And that's the that that's the stead you gotta be in, man. You gotta continuously work on this thing. Alright? Yes, we have spiritual ups and downs. Alright, you might be on fire one week, next week not so much. But guess what, man? That don't stop that don't stop nothing, man. Alright? It don't stop nothing. Okay? 
this is not a thing where you just you you you, you stop you know you can put up a video for nine months six months and all these things no nah, man or you go back into the world and come back hey when you turn your back on the plow and you cross these lines already hey man you're not fit to uh, you know inherit uh, 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 the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai man alright you know and we always keep these things in our in, in, in our mind alright to keep the fight going all right, this is a continual, a continual fight, hey man. Nobody said it, it was going to be easy. All right, nobody said it was going to be easy. This is Matthew chapter ten, verse thirty-six. All right, it says what? A man foe shall be day of his household, and that's what it is, man. A lot of our family members, they, hey, they gonna, they really gonna betray us. All right, because they know what you into, you know. For some brothers, you know, you know, they they, they know what you into. And not only that, man, our families are, are 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 in the world, man. All right, and the ways of the world, okay, you know, is enmity, you know, with the Most High. All right, Salakia. All right, I'm gonna read that again. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 36, and it says, A man's foes shall be they of his own household. It says, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And that's what it is, man. All right, your family, your parents. Your wife, your kids, in all reality, you know, if you have responsibility to handle, that's, you know, that's one thing, all right? We, we, we take care of our responsibilities. You have a duty to do that. But the in a list of priorities, amen, serving the Lord is, is, is first and foremost, man. And we know men in this truth who, uh, 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 you know, children, hey, man, they had to turn their back on their kids, man, because their kids going off. That's what it is, man. All right, nobody say it don't hurt, but hey, man, <laughs> you know, turning your back on the Lord is gonna hurt even worse. Trust and believe. All right, it says what? Verse thirty-eight. It says, "And he that taken not his cross and followed after me is not worthy of me." So you have to take. Your cross, you got to carry whatever burdens you got going on. All right, you know some brothers got you know different levels. Some brothers got infirm infirmities. All right, some brothers uh, 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 dealing with the court system. Some brothers, you know, struggling when it comes to the, the, the finances. Some of these, some brothers' bodies breaking down. You know, brothers dealing with all different types of hell, man. All right, but you got to deal with it. I see the the elder brother. I, th I think he's from D.C. Madagon, maybe I'm not sure. You know, he, he did a video, which I ain't finished the whole video. He said he learned to play injured. All right, and that's what it is, man. We we in this this, this fight. Hey, the scripture said, "What well, gird up, uh, uh, gird up your loins like a man." So you might be tired, you might be going through some shit, or whatever it is you're going through, man. You can always find time. All right. You know, always make time, you know, to serve to, to, uh, to, uh, to serve the Lord, man. All right? You know, just because things is getting hard, don't, don't, eh, it don't stop anything. Okay? Let me get a couple more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. Ah, this is it, right? Philippians chapter 3, verse 13. And this is brethren. I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting the things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before thee. Before. So that's what it is, man. All right? You have to forget the things that, hey, that's behind you, man. Them old ways, that old man, that old friend, you know, the old, the old 
manner of, of, of persons you were, man. The old shit you gotta do, you the, you, the old shit you did, you you, you 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 did. All right, the scripture say, man, don't let your sins weigh you down, man. So, hey, man, the things you did in the past, hey, man, you know, in, in your ignorance, the Lord winked at that, man. But instead of looking back, we look forward, man. All right, we looking forward. We not looking, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, at the back. As I said, you see what happens uh, to, to to Lot's wife, man. You want to be going back, all right, into the ways of that old man, all right. I'm gonna read that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just uh, let me see some. Let me see. I'm gonna read that in the you know NLT real fast. I wanna see something. It says, No dear brothers and sisters, Philippians 3 and 13, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. And that, 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 that's, that's, that's beautiful right there, man. So we're not even in the kingdom yet. We're not in the kingdom. All right? But this is something we're working towards. All right? Our focus is, is, is towards the kingdom. But the things that were behind us, hey man, they stay behind us, man. All right, those things that we should do, do in our old life, you know, it, it it leads to death, man. And if you're on this journey, if you're in this truth, all right, and you turn your back on the plow, man, that's gonna lead, you know, uh, 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 to your destruction. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to get one more scripture. I uh, mean, you got to get ready to be on the move. Okay, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 4. And it says, For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and has tasted of the heavenly gifts and remained partakers of the Holy Spirit. All right? And that's what it is, man. We, 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 we hey, man. The Lord gave us this heavenly gift. It's not a something of our own accord, man. All right? You know, we taste the heavenly gift, and it's sweet. It's bitter in our stomach, but guess what? At the end of the day, this truth, this is what really is, is, is good for you, man. This is what's really going to lead to your salvation. This is what really makes you a, 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 a man, a better man. All right? A holy man, a man of honor, a man of a, a principle. Okay, this is what this truth, you know, has has done for us. It's done that for me. All right, regardless of what what I'm going through, you know, what I'm saying. It goes on to say, and have tasted the good word of the Most High, and the powers of the world to come. So you in this truth, and you know what the kingdom of heaven is gonna look like, and you know, all right, the Israelites gonna reign with Yahweh Shai being, you know, the King of Kings. All right. You know, you know we're gonna have uh, 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 have all the heathen in, in, in subjection. All right, we know all these things, and you turn your back. It goes on to say, if they shall fall away, to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of the Most High afresh, and put him to open shame. And that's what it is, man. You crucifying the Lord again. You crucifying the Lord afresh, and you putting the Lord to open shame. You disregard the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right, and that's put him to open shame because this is a heavenly gift. All right, this is a beautiful uh, 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 honey. This is the the the, the uh, uh, you know the living waters. All right. That's like you you drink some expensive ass wine and you spit it on the floor, and that's what you do when you turn when you when when when, when, uh, when you turn your back on the Lord when you when you disregard this truth after the Lord gave you this holy gift man this holy this this holy uh, uh spirit man all right this comforter man okay so I'm gonna just end it off right there you know. Let's remember in all, in all our dealings, man. You know, remember Lot's wife. Alright? Ain't no turning back. 
All right, we're looking forward to the destruction of America and to the kingdom of Israel. With that, Shalom.